All right, our next speaker is uh, Manuel De Leon, who is a senior software engineer at Pearson. Is this the same Pearson that does educational testing? Yes. <laughs> cool. Good, good. All right, uh, hello everyone. Uh, let's see, I'm here to present Kongspec, which is um, a service site uh, that I made, and it, I believe it's service site number five million around. Uh, and the reason why I made it is because, well, I had, um, the, I had the need. The, uh, I wasn't happy with my options. So here I have um, a, uh, let's, uh, a, let's go through it. So for example, here on the right, I have a survey with a, which has two questions. And uh, one of the things that I'm usually interested in is who answered what and what else did they have to say? So, so for example, on the right, I'm logged in. So if I select, a, if I select an option, uh, a few things will happen. I can start typing, great, and a few, th a few things happen. So it, it's, it uses Meteor, so I get the answers immediately, uh, uh, right after the last keystroke. And the other thing is that it says, oh, you selected Rails, you selected .NET, and you said, great. Now, another thing that you can do is, if, uh, if I'm not logged in, or if I'm using a private browsing, like in this, uh, like in this case, I can, when I select something and I type, uh, what, the, uh, what now happens is that I get the answer as anonymous. Uh, a third option is to distribute your, uh, the survey with, uh, with the distribute tab. You add your contact, uh, put in the name, and the, uh, the name and the email, and it will send an email with a specific link for each of your contacts. So, so that when they click on that link, like uh, I have here, and you're watching your, you're watching your results, you can see that, oh, it's no longer anonymous. You see the name of the person that you sent, that you sent the email, and they, said, and they selected Rails, and they, select, and then they said, it's great. And again, it, it uses Meteor, so it updates uh, automatically immediately. And even better, um, uh, I can click on any, uh, on any name, let's say Lester, and I'm going to see the survey as, uh, as Lester uh, uh, felt it. So, the, uh, um, I have a little bit of time, so it, it, two things. If you're, if you're working with a school or um, a, or a nonprofit, uh, uh, contact me and I'll give you a full, uh, a full account um, if, you, if you want it. And um, another thing is support your, um, uh, your local uh, media uh, meetup and uh, join in. And even if you're just starting, uh, share what, you, what you're done, uh, what you're learning, Etc. Thank you. What did you use for the animation on the front desk for the rest? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, what did I what did I use on the animation on the progress bar? Uh, but uh, I honestly don't uh, don't remember. <laughs> yes. So is it used by Pearson for surveying? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! The, uh, this, uh, the question is: Is this used at the, at, at Pearson? The, uh, uh, no, this is uh, this is a personal uh, this is a personal pro uh, project at Pearson. We uh, we use it for uh, monitoring tools, uh, uh, monitoring um, uh, services. Yes. Are used, we can give real-time results. Do you think that's a possibility, or 
the uh, the question is uh, the, uh, does it have an API that uh, that can interact with other uh, with other services like uh, like Wufu? Uh, the, uh, not not right now. If you uh, if you get in touch with me and you're interested in that uh, possibility, we can uh, we can make it happen. Question: How yes. long did this take to build? With Meteor, uh, let's see, about a little over a month because I already had I already had all the idea. Uh, I built it in uh, Rails first, and then with a lot of JavaScript that did pretty much everything that Meteor does for free. Uh, so uh, mo moving it to Meteor was just a matter of uh, removing all the stuff that <laughs> Meteor does. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Any other questions? All right, thank you. All right. Thank you.